In Britain, fine knitwear and high-quality mass-produced clothing have always enjoyed a reputation. But high standards and fine quality don't have to cost the earth. The medium price market can be served with integrity and with quality and satisfy manufacturer and retailer as well as customer. From the start though, the article must be planned. Every product, no matter what it is, goes through the testing mill. The size of a child's forehead is roughly the same as an adult's. But the child's neck is a lot smaller. This is laboratory information, but it's essential to make the product right for the job. How far will the neck of a sweater stretch? And how will it recover so that it still fits snugly? The snug fit of a shirt collar is important. It's even more important to ensure quality right back from the selection of the yarn. So technicians examine individual fibers under the microscope. They test the fabric for its resistance to fading. Ultraviolet light accomplishes in hours what sunlight would take months to achieve. How will a fabric stand up to repeated washing? This test rig will give the answer. Is the fabric color fast? The measurement of shrinkage is critical. A shirt that shrinks a quarter of an inch can strangle you. Any garment is subject to wear, in some places more than others. So instead of wearing out a man's neck, simulate his stiff beard with a pair of brushes. Use machines which will reproduce abrasive wear and note the results with accuracy. Examine all the qualities of the raw materials. Test to destruction their tensile strength. Subject everything to even improbable stresses. Borrow from the Middle Ages to find out about snagging and catching. Check people. They're all different too. Foot size isn't as important as the volume of the whole leg, so build a model to leave nothing to chance. Even shoelaces break. It's important to know just when. Next, consider design. Putting together a shirt is an engineering job. Before it can be packaged ready for sale, a whole specification will have been prepared and analyzed long before manufacture. Prototypes are tried on specimen wearers. People come in all shapes and sizes. There will be adjustments to the basic design to best serve the multitude of fittings which will be produced. The specification will have to be altered yet again. And then, before a new garment goes on sale, test it with the people who will buy it and wear it. The final judges of quality are customers. As with clothing, so with food. Quality begins with the raw materials. Test after test determine the specification and make sure that it is met. A miniature production line is set up in the test kitchens. Carefully chosen ingredients, weighed and measured, are blended. A new range is about to be launched. The results will be judged by appearance, by flavor, and by assessors who keep in the forefront of their minds the taste of the purchasing public. Foodstuffs or textiles, the procedure is the same. Only after specification, testing, selection and approval can the product go to the bakery or the factory. But once production starts, it's on the scale demanded by a vast market. The selected shirt fabric is laid out on the cutting bench. The patterns are cut, ten dozen at a time. A new model shirt begins to take shape, still under the eyes of the team who designed and approved it. 
The work people who make the goods have quality as their incentive and the quality of their working conditions matches the quality of the product. essential to protect goods, but it is kept simple as much with clothing as with foodstuffs. Distribution is highly organized and rapid. Freshly prepared foods are assembled overnight. storage temperatures are checked. The procession of trolleys moves inexorably towards the fleet of refrigerated trucks. They roll through the dawn to the waiting stores, to the waiting customers. Quality is international. The goods come from all over the world, and so do the customers. The sales staff are ready to help them in their own languages if need be. Quality is international and it's infectious. Give people quality to sell and their very relationship with the customer will be given a special quality of its own. Quality gives birth to quality. <laughs> <laughs>